your first 30 days of sobriety this time around, what were your emotions like? You know, for me, it was a big roller coaster. I, I had good days and then bad days. You know, um, I just still from the last time I can't ever get over even now after eight months, I can never drink again. And I don't know why that won't leave me, you know? So it's just like this little thing in the back of my head, just keep saying it, you know? It's like, uh, so because it wants to be fed with right. alcohol. Mm -hmm. And that's my 30 days, like, you know, I'm like, I could do this. You want to drink? I could do this. You want to drink, you know? And I'm like, uh, just go away. And it has eased, you know? Um, when I'm around people that drink, sometimes it's like right there knocking at the door. And I'm like, nope, we're not backtracking because that's, not, you know, they can do it. You can't. So, but yeah, my 30s days was definitely a big roller coaster. Yeah. There's got to be a statistic that if you make it like 30 days, what your chances are of making it, because the first 30 days is rough. Oh, yeah. It was hard for me. I feel like the more time you have, uh, you know, you feel like you achieved more. So it's easier, not because it's easier, because it's just like, okay, I have eight months now. I can't ruin eight months. And when yeah. you have, yeah. you know, you don't two throw weeks, away you're that. like, fuck, I only have two yeah. weeks. What is it? Yeah, that, that, and you don't have tools, you know, uh, now because you're, you were in an outpatient program, you, you do have the tools that you learned. It's definitely so, the support. Yeah. Like you, that was the biggest thing, just having, I call them my sober sisters, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. that because everybody I know drinks. So you could do things, you know, without alcohol involved. So that was really nice to meet people that were going through the same thing as I was and, you know, and still are and yeah. understand. And yeah, I had a problem too with just thinking, not necessarily that I that I'll never drink again, uh, but more so that uh, I'll never. What am I gonna do to have fun? Mm -hmm. You know, how am I gonna enjoy my life? You know, when you uh, you had put down that you you've been drinking since what thirteen fourteen. Fourteen. You know, so your your whole adult your whole teen and adult life is pretty much you have drank that whole time same with me mm -hmm. or under the influence of something else you know you don't really know yourself you don't really know what you like what you don't like I mean you kind of do but um, it's a it's a blessing and a curse it's a curse because it, it's like so distant you don't know what you're going to do you feel lost but at the same time I get peace in knowing that I get to reinvent myself I get to, you know, redo, uh, learn things that I that I do stuff like this, mm -hmm. you know, that that I never thought I would be able to do, because if we were doing this, I would have a liquor bottle mm -hmm. right here, but I would also say, you know what, I gotta use a restroom and go drink one, so that way you guys wouldn't see, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, same here. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, 